Hey everybody, George Lugo Jr. here from Queens, New York. And what I'm going to be talking about today is my recent blog post on MLM recruiting, how to overcome the rejection of I don't have the money. Now a lot of people have different strategies on how to overcome that objection. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to give you the best strategy, which I feel is the best way to overcome that objection. Now, a lot of times, uh, I've been in the network marketing arena for quite some time, since late 2006, and I've heard a lot, a lot of ways to overcome that objection. Uh, just recently, I heard, uh, you know, someone says, well, you know, I don't have the money, and the most common one that I've heard recently is, well, if you had the money, would you join? And then you would listen. So the person will tell you, well, yeah, if I had the money, I would join. And then you would say, okay, well, why would you join? So they would say, well, I would join because I want to really partner with you, or I really like the product or service, or blah, blah, blah. I really like the comp plan, blah, blah, blah. And then at that, per at that point, you would say something like this. Well, isn't that enough reasons why you should find the money to start? Very powerful. It does work. Another one which I heard just recently was um, they say, well, you know, I don't have the money. And they say, well, do you want to work your way in or do you want to work your way out? And really what that means is do you really want to work your way into the company or do you really want to work your way out and out of it? Okay, like you kind of like blow me off. And they say, no, I really want to work my way in. Okay, and then you say, well, why? And then they'll give you the reasons why, and you would continue just like the same way as before. See that that's pretty powerful. And that, that really actually works much better because then you can say something like this. You can say, okay, well, let's say your opportunity costs, let's say, five hundred dollars to come in, or three ninety nine, or even just a hundred dollars. You could then ask them, okay, now that you want to work your way in and you know why, and you say, Well, how much money do you have in the bank now? So now you're putting them on the spot. You see, that's what leaders do, ladies and gentlemen, is they put people on the spot. We lead people to make a decision. You see, we're because we're not used to making decisions. Most people uh, have the employee mindset. So what ends up happening is that they're never led. They're led to do things. They're, they're, they're taught to be led. They're never taught to make up their own decisions. You know, you go to work every day and your boss tells you what to do. You do this, do this, do this, do this, do that. Okay, your supervisor, whoever, they tell you what to do. Every day you do the same thing, the same thing. Some people don't do the same thing, but for the most part, most people do the same thing. So as a leader, you are to lead and inspire. You have to help them make a decision. So the other one, the other objection is this. Uh, the other way to uh, the other way to to subside from that objection is another one like this. You would say, well, listen, you know, you know, what did you like about what you saw? I say, I like blah, blah, blah. Right, let's get started. But hold on. I really don't have the money. Okay. You can say something like this. You can say, well, let me ask you. Let's say the guy's name is Mike or the girl's name is Jackie. So Mike, listen, uh, do you really don't have the money or you're just blowing me off? Ooh, that's, that's powerful. I've done that once, and boy, did I get the other person to like, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, you're, you're telling them, you're asking them, listen, Mike, Jackie, you really don't have the money, or are you just blowing me off? What it is is that you're calling their bluff, because a lot of times, a lot of times, people say they don't have the money because it's, it's an easy way out. It's like, I want to get started, but maybe I don't want to get started with you. Maybe this is not a good time, or I just don't want to be closed. Some people just don't like that pressure when you put pressure on them to make a decision. So it's easy to say, I don't have the money. Okay. And then you walk away. Some people try to hard close on them. I, I, don't, I don't do any of that. I'm going to show you in, in the next couple of seconds here uh, what I mean by that. Okay, so you would say something like this. You say, Jack, uh, Mike, Jackie, 
do you really don't have the money or you're just blowing me off? And that's really posture. You're, you're using your posture to ask them to tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You really don't have the money? Because you see, most people, see, I don't have the money objection. In most cases, I can't say in all, but in most cases, it's bullshit. Okay, excuse my French, but it's bullshit. A lot of times, they do have the money because when they want something, I'm talking about your prospect, they'll find the money. If they wanted to go to a concert that costs $150 a ticket, I can guarantee you within two hours, they'll find somebody to lend them 150 bucks to go to that concert. If they wanted to go to a movie and they didn't have the money, I bet you they can punk some of their cousins or, uh, or, or close friends to go to a movie that costs 50 bucks because you know it's not just a ticket, it's the popcorn and the soda, right? Okay. If they really needed the money, let's say, to pay their cable bill, the income reducer, I bet you they'll find the money, right? They'll find the money. So really, they're just blowing you off. So here's the best way to overcome the objection, I don't have the money. First off, it should never get to that point if you do this process correctly. So this is what you would do. Let's say you prospect somebody. The way I usually do it, I try to do it with a referral and say, hey, listen, you know, I'm expanding my business here locally in the Fresh Meadows area. I'm looking for someone that's uh, entrepreneurial minded, thinks outside the box and maybe open to an opportunity. Hey, do you know anybody? OK, most most likely their response is going to say, well, what is it? OK, now this is not a video to talk about how to prospect people. I'm just trying to prove a point here. I'm giving you a process here, what I go through. OK, when they say, what is it? They say, well, I respond this. Well, why do you want to know? OK, why are you looking? And they'll tell you, well, you know, I'm curious to know or, you know, you know, I could use an opportunity. I'm in I'm in a job that, you know, they're they're threatening to lay off a lot of people and they're cutting my hours. And, you know, I feel like I really can make more money. See, that's their why. Then I say, OK, all right. Fantastic. Now, my next question is. How much money have you set aside? Now, obviously, I'm going to get into a little bit more. Again, this is not a video about how I uh, how to prospect. But understand that the the process that I'm going through here and say, well, listen, you know, how much money have you put to the side to build a business? Wow. They're probably going to say, well, you know, I put some I can get some. Oh, how much is it? And ask you that. How much money have you put aside after you pay your bills, after you put food on the table? How much of money have you put to the side? to run a business and to start a business. Um, I don't know, I got about $200 in the bank right now to get started, okay? How now, with a business, here's my other question. With a business, there's a upfront capital and there, which you already answered the upfront capital. Then there's a monthly capital. That's to run the business every single month to keep the doors open. Then there's advertising capital. OK, you don't need to have that right away because you can use warm market and you can use Facebook and social media and things like that to get to build up your list. But you, you need to have some kind of advertising money aside. How much of that did you have put aside? And they're going to tell you now, judging on what your network marketing company, what the startup cost is and what the monthly cost is. They better have double. So, for instance, if your startup cost is five hundred bucks, they should have. They should tell you, I have about a thousand dollars in the bank. Not five hundred, because that's everything. No one's going to give you your whole life savings unless they see value in that. That's different. Okay. Then let's say every single month, it's going to cost them a hundred and twenty bucks to have their auto ship. Okay. They better tell you they have at least $250 in the bank every single month. Then you have advertising costs. Let's just say 
you know, your marketing plan, however you have for your team, is about 100 bucks a month, they better tell you they have an extra $200 a month. Because at the very end of your assessment, when you show them the video or you give them, you show them the business through one of your tools of your network marketing company, then at the end, that objection would never come up. So understand if they say, so in other words, you're, 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 you're qualifying your prospect. Is this a person, can they afford to come into my business? And the other thing is too, if they don't have the money monthly, okay, they can't afford to stay on auto ship. So you're going to spend the time, you, you know, you're going to spend more time on them. Than they'll ever spend on themselves. They're going to come into the business and quit if they don't make money in 30 days. And then you wonder why people are dropping out. They don't have money for auto ship. They don't have money for product to sample. They don't have money for advertising. They don't even have money to come to an event. Because event costs money. Everything costs money. It's a business. Guys, this is a business. You must know as much upfront before you give them access to the tools for your business so that you know they're a fit for your business. Once you know they're a fit, say, you know what, you, um, you, you've, you know, I've done with all my questions. Uh, I believe that you're, you're ready to go to the next step. I have a video that explains what I do. So let me have your email address and let me know when you can watch this video. And then they'll tell you, and then you can proceed with your with your process from that point. So I hope this video helped. Remember, qualifying your prospects up front, you're never going to get that objection that I don't have the money because you already found that out in the beginning. Okay. So again, after after you you uh, they said that they were open, ask them why. Why are you open? And then with a business, do you have how much do you have set aside? You know, there's and let them know. Say, listen, after you put some after you put your food on the table, you pay your bills, all that stuff, what do you have set aside to run a business? You know, with a business, there's a startup cost, there's running capital, there's advertising. What have you set aside? And judging by that, you should have that number already here. And if they tell you, well, you know, I really don't have any money, that's why I'm looking at it, and eh, that's the wrong answer, guys. Disqualify them. The squad say, you know what, this isn't really for you. Well, let me ask you, do you know anybody that will be open? You know, because you never know. They may give you somebody that's a big hitter. They may not, they may not be ready. Listen, there was a point where in my life I wasn't ready. So I didn't get started. You need to let them know that they can't get started if they're not ready. So I hope this video helped you. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and click the link below. They'll take you right to my blog. Comment and, 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 uh, and, and share. I love to see what you have to say. If you're on my blog, welcome to my blog. Go ahead and comment. Do the same thing. Comment and share. And oh, by the way, to the right, there is an opt-in form. Go ahead and put your name, email, and phone number in there. And you'll see uh, you'll see emails from me every time I post uh, something on my blog. So you'll be connected with me. Also, you're going to have access to a video that uh, that shows you exactly what the top leaders in the industry are doing to get leads and sign people up into their business uh, very consistently and at a big mass. So with that being said, this is George Lugo Jr. from Queens, New York. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.